related to the binomial distribution. We have an airline, or an airline has determined that the probability that a customer who has purchased a first class ticket between San Francisco and Boston will not show for the flight is 0.08. So we know that. Suppose that the airline had sold 10 first class tickets for an, up an upcoming flight. And we have the following questions. What is the probability that exactly two people will be no shows? And also, what is the probability that at most two people will be no shows? So let's solve these problems. First, let's start with the first question. What is the probability that exactly two people will be no shows? So let's get a solution of that. So the first thing that to notice is, that is this, this is a binomial distribution. Even if they don't tell me that this is a binomial distribution problem, I notice that there is a, a total number of trials equal 10 in this case. And I say, I, I say number of trials, we are checking of these 10 customers, yeah? And the probability that one of these customers doesn't show, the probability for each of these customers, that this customer doesn't show is 0 0.08. So this probability is constant and there is a total number of trials. So it looks like it is a probability distribution. This is a binomial distribution. So this is the formula for the binomial distribution. The probability that the random variable take the value x. This x could be whatever number between 0 and 10. So the number of no shows equal x equal the number of combination of n objects taken x at the time time the probability of success and is in, in this case that success is a no show so no success in quotation yeah? so this times this probability to the power x multiplied by the by the probability of a failure, and his failure will be that the customer shows to the fly. Eh? So it's p is 0 0.08 in this case, 1 minus p will be 0 0.92. And this to the power n minus x. So in this problem, we have that this n equals 10. The total number of trials is 10, and we also know that p is 0 0.08. So the probability of uh, one of these trials is a success in quotation. So it's 0 0.08. So we write here p equals 0 0.08. Another information that we have is this. The question is, what is the probability that exactly two people? So my the value of x that I'm interested in now is when x equal 2. What is the probability that the random variable take the value 2? In other words, what is the probability that, is, that there are two no-shows? Yeah? So x equal 2. And the only thing we need, we need to do is just put this into the formula. So put, put uh, all these values into the formulas. So let's do that. So we have that will be probability of 2, so instead of x we write 2, and instead of n we write 10, and in instead of p we write 0 0.08, that is the probability at success. So the probability of failure, that is 1 minus p, will be 0 0.92. The power, look at the exponent, the exponent here is the same x, so it will be 2, and the exponent for the failures it will be n minus x will be 10 minus 2, that is the a that I type here. So I can use now a calculator to compute this value. Yes, and remember this com number of combinations, the definition of the combinations uh, of n objects taken, to, taken x at a time, it can be written as uh, n factorial, divided by x factorial over n minus x factorial. You can use a calculator for doing that. Yes, you can actually, this n factorial will be 10 factorial. This x factorial will be 
uh, 2 factorial and here will be n minus minus x will be 10 minus 2 equal 8 factorial so that's what we need to do here 10 factorial divided by 2 factorial times 8 factorial if you use a calculator you notice that is 45 you can also notice that this 10 factorial is 10 times 9 uh, times 8 factorial and this 8 factorial cancel with the 8 factorial at the bottom so at the top we have only 10 times 9 divided by 2 so we will be 45 so we can type 45 now another way to do that and of course after we have this 45 we just multiply 45 times 0 0.08 to the power 2 times 0 0.92 to the power 8 Another way is just using your calculator from the beginning. So if you don't want to be doing step by step, you can start multiplying and using the key for the combinations in your calculator. Let's do that. If I do that in my calculator, what I have is if I have the BA plus instrument from Texas. So if, because I have this calculator, what I'm going to do is just write the term first, type terms and then the key combinations and remember in my calculator the the combinations key you need to to press first the second function key so second function then the key ncr that is that that is actually the, the same key for the plus signs in my calculator and then number two then i multiply multiply by 0 0.08 to the power two because my calculator is in a financial mode, so I'm going to make this power in brackets. So times open bracket, uh, then 0 0.08, 0 0.08 to the power, to the power 2, and then I cross the bracket. When I cross the bracket and multiply by the other power times, the other power must be in bracket, so I open bracket. 0 0.92 type 0 0.92 and to the power a so here in the calculator we make first the power the whole the, 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 the whole power will be in brackets so to the power 8 and then I cross the bracket and then press the equal sign don't forget when I do that what I obtain is 0 0.1478 good so this is this answer the the first questions remember if your calculator is in a scientific calculator you don't need to type this bracket if it is in scientific mode the calculator okay in my calculator because it is not in scientific mode so i put in this bracket here okay let's focus now in, 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 in how to solve this problem in a cell. If you have this problem in a cell, so in whatever cell in, in an Excel worksheet, the only thing you need to do is just type the function for the binomial distribution. And the function for the binomial distribution is this way, binom point dist. Uh, and don't forget to put the, to put the argument in bracket. So also don't forget to write an equal sign before the, the function in Excel. So Excel, what they are asking you four arguments. One of them will be the value of x. They also uh, ask you for the value of n. Excel also want that you, it, it, you put in the, the value of the probability. And you need to tell Excel if this is a cumulative problem or not. In this case, is this problem is not cumulative. A cumulative means if I want, for example, to answer all the, the, the probabilities between 0 and 2. But in this case, just the probability of 2. When the question says exactly, so you don't type, uh, you type 0 or you can write false. So it's false that this is, this is cumulative. So you do that in Excel. If I do that in Excel, what I found is that this will be binomial distribution of 2, the value of x is 2, the value of n is 10, the probability is 0 0.08, and I write here false or 0, and the answer obviously is the same, 0 0.1478. Here is rounded, 
the answer with uh, with four decimals. Okay, now, yes, focusing now in the second question, what is the probability that at most, if I type at, if I say at most, no, exactly, exactly means the, the, the distribution is not cumulative. When I say at most, the, the, the distribution is cumulative. Okay, so what should do in this case if I'm working by hand? So we have the formula. This is a binomial distribution problem. So, but now the question is the probability of x less or equal than 2. And notice that this is the same of, say, at most 2. The probability of x less or equal than 2 is actually equal to the probability of 0 plus the probability of 1 plus the probability of 2. So what I need to do is compute the probability of 0, then the probability of 1, and finally the probability of 2. So the probability of 0 is just making in the formula, remember that n equal 10, just make a substitution, x will be 0. So it will be the probability 0 0.08 to the power 0, and then 1 minus p, the probability of failure, is 1 minus 0 0.08 is 0 0.92, so 0 0.92 to the power 10. So it will be 10 minus 0. Now we'll have probability of 1. And the probability of 1 will be the same thing, just instead of x, you're going to type 1. So let's write plus c101 now, and 0 0.08 to the power 1, now x equal 1, and this will be 0 0.92 to the power 10 minus 1, so it means 9. And then do the same with number 2. Instead of x here, type number 2. So it will be c102. So c102, 0 0.08 to the power 2, 0 0.92 to the power 8, so it will be 10 minus 2, 8. So in your calculator, you can do all these things, this, and then add together all these numbers. So for the first one, C, uh, 10, 0, 0 0.08 to the power 0, 0 0.92 to the power 10, I get 0 0.43. 439. I want to write or to type my answer with four decimal places. I decided to use five decimals in this intermediate answer. So for the next one will be the, the compute this and when I do this what I obtain in my calculator is 0 0.37773. Then I compute the, 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 the last term here. When I compute the last term here, what I get is 0 0.14781. Adding together all these numbers, I get 0 0.9599. The question is now how I can do this using Excel. Yeah? If I use Excel, again, I'm going to use x equal 2 at the variable. So it says it's going to ask me all the value, uh, all, the, all, the, all, the, all the argument that I need to put into the formula. Yeah? So the binomial distribution, if you start typing in a cell binomial, it will be several options. You, if you write b, i, n, it says on the stand that you want to compute something related to a binomial distribution, maybe. Yeah? So for that reason, you are gonna, you're gonna see several options. One of the options will be binomial distribution. And when you see that, you just click, and then just Excel tell you what to type in, in, in each of the arguments. So in this case, it will be two, that is the value of x, a 10, that is the value of n, the total number of trial, the probability p, and the value of 1. In this case, 1, because this is a cumulative problem. So you are computing all the probabilities and add together all this probability between 0 and the number that you have, you have 
uh, enter here that is number two so when you have this case you in Excel you just type number one so if you do that here you get the answer immediately and obviously it will be the same answer and this that's conclude this problem thank you